It is springtime, and tea parties are in season in our house. Throwing your own tea party is going to build such wonderful memories for your family, especially your children. I have so many fun ideas to share with you on how to put together an easy, elegant, and beautiful tea party. I'll also share with you my game plan on how to cook everything in advance. And all you're going to do on the big day is simply warm up the food and serve it on the table. Let's get the party started. Every brunch needs some savory appetizers. These mushroom pastry cups are a fantastic appetizer recipe that can be made ahead of time. The flaky puff pastry combined with the savory mushrooms cooked with onions and thyme. For those of you who love mushrooms, this is the perfect choice. First step is to prepare our mushroom filling. Chop one onion and cook it on a skillet until golden and translucent. Meanwhile, thinly slice one pound of mushrooms and add it to your onions. Cook them together. To your mixture, add one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and when your mushrooms and onions are cooked, add roughly two to three teaspoons of fresh thyme that has been chopped. Set the mixture aside to cool completely. Now use a store-bought puff pastry and leave it at room temperature until it's soft and easy to work with. Slice the puff pastry into 12 equal sized squares and fit the puff pastry snugly into a muffin tin. Then fill each shell with the mushroom mixture that has already cooled at this point. And top it with your favorite cheese. Now the make ahead tip. You can make the mushroom mixture up to three days ahead. Just cover it and place it in the fridge until you're ready to use it. Once these mushrooms cups are assembled, you can cover them with aluminum foil a day ahead, refrigerate and bake at 375 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes right before serving. Or you can even bake them a day ahead and warm them up right before serving. Easy peasy. Our second savory appetizer are our little tea sandwiches. There is no tea party without little tea sandwiches. Simply trim off the crust and cut them in little triangles. This way kids' favorite sandwiches become a little fancy bite suitable for any princess. There is an immense variety of fillings ideas, like peanut butter and jelly, ham and cheese, or turkey and mayo or a strawberry cream cheese spread is a guaranteed winner. Today I'm making simple tuna and mayo topped with some fresh sliced cucumbers. Now secure them with a toothpick and it's done! While these require minimal effort, you can get ahead by prepping your fillings in advance then assemble just before serving to avoid any soggy sandwiches. Our third savory appetizer are the famous pigs in the blanket. These are a party necessity and a crowd pleaser. We can't get enough of them and when they're so easy to make, there is no reason not to. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. On a lightly floured surface, prepare your puff pastry and slice it into long strips. Place one mini hot dog on the sliced puff pastry, then gently roll it around. Press down a little bit to secure the ends and transfer to a medium baking sheet. Brush with egg wash and bake until golden brown, roughly 20 to 25 minutes. Very simple and very tasty. 
Would you like to add some edible daisy flowers to your table? Which are nothing else but hard-boiled eggs shaped in a flower. Super easy and fun. Let me show you how to do it. Just boil three eggs, peel them off, and place them on some plastic wrap aligned with a few skewers. Wrap it tightly, secure with a rubber band, and place in the fridge overnight. The morning of the party, slice your daisy flowers eggs and serve on a platter. My girls didn't prefer to eat any hard-boiled eggs, which is considered a healthy breakfast. But these daisy flowers really got them excited about it. Super healthy and super cute. You probably noticed by now that we've got some fancy fruit water on our table. Specifically, these gorgeous Schmancy strawberries iced cubes to put in your drinks. They take almost no time to make, yet they totally elevate your glass. Today I opted for raspberries and strawberries, but you can totally get creative and add mint, lemons, cucumbers, or anything you desire. Prepare your ice cube tray, add your berries, water, and freeze overnight. Once frozen, remove and use to serve in water, lemonade, or iced tea, and that's it. How simple was that, yet so creative, tasty, and beautiful. Now let's show off our little decadent desserts that we have prepared for our tea party. First on the list is our chocolate strawberries. To prepare them, simply melt some white tasty chocolate in the microwave in 30 seconds intervals or on top of a pot with hot water. Wash your strawberries in advance and place them on a paper towel to release any moisture. Insert a toothpick at the bottom of each strawberry, which will help you hold the fruit while you're dipping it in the chocolate. Holding the strawberry by the stem and the toothpick, dip the fruit into the white chocolate. Lift and twist slightly, letting any excess chocolate fall back into the bowl. Set strawberries on a styrofoam or you can simply place them on a parchment paper. Repeat with the rest of the strawberries. You can also add some food coloring to your white chocolate and get creative. Use some sanding sugar and sprinkles for decor. Set the strawberries aside until the chocolate sets, about 20 minutes. And voila! Beautiful, fancy strawberries are done. How easy was that? And again, make these a day ahead of your party. Just place your chocolate strawberries in the fridge overnight and serve right before the tea party is about to begin. I've also prepared some macaroons and madeleine cookies, but I'll make a separate video for those. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing these recipes as well. Here are some fresh pancakes that I made the morning of the party. I lightly dusted them with powdered sugar and decorated with some raspberries. Very elegant and tasty. Next is our tea party theme cookies. This sugar cookies recipe is absolutely perfect for any theme or holiday. So definitely save this recipe. Using a mixer, beat two sticks or 16 ounces of softened unsalted butter. Then add one cup of sugar, one egg. To the mixture, add a splash of vanilla and mix to combine. In a sifter, add three cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one pinch of salt. Sift your flour directly into your butter mixture in three parts until fully incorporated. Divide the dough into two equal parts. Wrap them in plastic and place in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. Now you can keep the dough for a few days until you're ready to use it. And here is a great make ahead tip. Wrap your dough tightly in plastic wrap and store it in the freezer bag. 
You can keep it in the freezer for about two months before you need to use it. When you're ready to bake, allow the dough to thaw in the fridge overnight. Then make sure it reaches room temperature before you shape your cookies and bake them. On a lightly floured surface, roll your dough into approximately a quarter inch thickness. Make sure to dust your rolling pan with a little bit of flour. Use your cookie cutters to cut out your favorite shapes. And I'm using these ones that have a tea party theme that I purchased on Amazon. I will link them as well as any other tools and decor items in the description box below. Bake in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit in the center rack for 10 to 15 minutes. As soon as you see that they turn golden brown on the edges, take them out. Allow them to cool for 5 minutes before transferring them to a wire rack to cool completely. Decorate the cookies as you please or seriously, they are so melt in your mouth delicious that you can just gobble them up plain. Use different colors of icing and sprinkles and anything that you want to make these cookies look like a fairy tale. Let them set at room temperature for a day or two. Again, perfect for make-ahead treats. The star of the show is the Eskimo cake I made and the decorations on it. For the cake, I used the same recipe from an episode I posted two weeks prior. I'll make sure to link it for you in this video. But you can also find the Eskimo cake recipe by simply going to my YouTube channel. Just search for the Eskimo cake on Doina's Cuisine YouTube channel and here it is. For the frosting, I used a different one this time made from mascarpone cheese, heavy whipping cream and powdered sugar. Just add them in a standing mixer and beat them until soft peaks. I'll make sure to include the exact measurements for you in the description below. Now it's time to assemble everything. Place the cake on a serving platter and cover it with a generous amount of frosting all over. Place some cherries on top and repeat the process with the rest of the cake layers. Another option would be to use some fresh strawberries. Now don't use cherries on top of your third layer. Our final step is the most fun part. This is when we get to decorate our cake. You can use your creativity or simply stick to a theme. In my case, it's a tea party and flowers are perfect. I'm using the frosting cream I saved earlier to pipe some pink flowers. Just like that. The top of the cake is decorated with some fresh flowers. Super simple and very beautiful. I really enjoyed assembling this beautiful and elegant tea party table. All of the appetizers and desserts I made were prepared days in advance. This way the day of the party was effortless. These flowers I purchased from Home Goods and some are handmade. They definitely elevate the tea party table and make everything look like spring and so festive. You can also use some fresh flowers from your garden or your local store. The balloon garland was made two days prior to the tea party. I purchased the set on Amazon and it was very affordable. My girls absolutely adored the tea party I put together for them and they can't wait for the next one. I highly encourage you to make one for your little princesses. It is such a beautiful memory they will treasure growing up. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to make more videos like this as I have so many other ideas for our next tea party. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I will see you next week with a new delicious simple recipe. Thank you.